Hey everybody, it's uh, Mark, Dr. Deadwax here, and uh, I'm going to do a VCLT video. I got a package in the mail the other day. I, I just opened it earlier on a live take to do like a live opening thing and a little bit of pebcac going on, and I fucking hit a button somewhere. And Anyways, the video stopped taping halfway through, so, you know. So, tonight, we're got a little background music going on. Uh, it's uh, John Lee Hooker on the waterfront on Wand. I bought this recently for six bucks. It's, I cleaned it earlier. Tonight's a night to clean vinyl. I got some stuff cleaning down there. This covers and the records are on the drying rack here after the vacuum. Um, just so I don't get any sleeve rot when you put them away. And, uh, this is just a crackling stack of wax. Honestly, some days I don't know what the fuck I'm doing out there. I have no idea how I bought this record. It scratched the shit. And it's like John Lee Hooker and the blues. Oh, it just glossed over and said, here's my money. Uh, so anyway, we're drinking uh, cherry ale tonight. This is cherry ale. It's from uh, Trafalgar Ales and Meads out of Oakville, Ontario. Um, my wife bought this because she likes Furley, which is like uh, Belgian wheat beer mixed with like uh, strawberry juice. And she thought this would be like the same kind of idea. And it's not. It's like a beer that's brewed with maybe cherries in the wort. So at most, there's like a note of cherry to it. So anyway. Um, and tonight, we're drinking Bombers because that's how Wes has got us all rolling with the Bombers. So. Uh, cheers to Wes for getting us drinking bombers, and cheers to uh, Henry from whom the parcel came. So, I get this parcel the other day, and I thought, I, you know, I saw who it was from, and I'm like, I don't know why I'm getting this parcel. Um, but I did, and I thought I would do a live opening, and of course I screwed it up, as already stated. And uh, so I know what's in here, so it's not going to be some big kind of like... <gasps> and you won't see the tears that I shed previously in the live tape with the live opening or the squealing for glee like a little girl, um, all of that. If I did it now, it would just seem like I was acting up and that won't happen. So, so anyways, uh, in it is a record. And Henry knows how to pack his shit, by the way, people. Um, box labels on it. I never put fragile labels on it. To me, it's just advertising to postal workers who are having a shitty day that this is the one they want to kick. But anyway, taped very well. I mean, I, I could have used another 16 meters of tape. Personally, I would have used another 16 meters of tape. Uh, but that's just because it helps slow river down. Um, but. Uh, well packed, it had uh, bubble around the record, had a cardboard insert. If you're going to deal with Henry buying records or uh, trading records, the motherfucker knows how to pack, okay? He packs his shit up. So, be confident. So, recently, I got, anyways, I got this record, it's got this nice note in it. Uh, I got this, I was in this conversation with Henry on Facebook, uh, we were chatting like a live chat kind of a thing and uh, he'd shown something and I was just uh, laughing with him and telling him the story about how I was like I don't know 14 or 15 years old and I was in a record store in Toronto uh, had headed down from the burbs and I uh, was in this like cool independent kind of freaky little record store and uh, I had two records in my hand I had the record that, that Henry's just sent me and I had uh, so I had like an original UK pressing because the record was not available domestically at the time. So I had an original UK pressing of this record. And in the other hand, I had uh, like a Flock of Seagulls. And uh, needless to say, I bought the Flock of Seagulls. And uh, uh, further revelations, I, I have this exact same story with like... Uh, Pills metal box, of course, original UK, and 
like culture club. Is it kissing and declaring? I'm not sure what the hell it is. Anyway, so. You know, I'm revealing all. So, anyways, instead of buying this record, I bought Flock of Seagulls. So he sends me this nice note, and in here, uh, dearest or Doctor D, dearest Mark M D, and horsecock aficionado. Thank you, Henry. Uh, anyway, I'm glad I could help fill the hole in your collection. I really do think that everyone should have this record. It may not define who you are as a person at this time. I mean, you don't have to be a suicidal, angst-driven, angst-driven teenager to enjoy this record. What am I saying? You're fucking Canadian. But just think back to when you were a strapping young lad and you had that daring flock of seagulls haircut. What a ladies man you were. Wrong. Bastard. You should have gone for the JD. Oh well, live and learn. Hugs, Hank. And so what he sent me is record that I've had digitally but I've never had on vinyl and that is uh, Joy Division Unknown Pleasures. He sent me, this is uh, the Rhino reissue of it, sealed, beautiful, fucking, I can't believe you sent me this. You're just a big sweetheart. Um, it's it, it's got the uh, texture cover, which I believe the original UK had. It's uh, Factory Fact 10. I know uh, this is, uh, Charlie on uh, the Facebook group. He's a huge uh, factory collector. Um, so I really don't know what to say, Henry. Thank you very much. This is long overdue. Um, and you are totally right. I should have bought this. And I should have bought Metal Box. Um, but um, as we all know, I oft have my head up my ass, and that's been something I've, I, I've been doing my whole life. And uh, But this is very pri uh, pride of place in the collection now. It's time to get this crackling stack of wax off the uh, turntable and uh, have some unknown pleasures. So, Henry, thank you very much, sir. There'll be something coming your way. Most appreciated. Have a great day, everybody. Keep the record spinning.